guys, Stacy here from Rock is Soft. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am so excited to do this video for you guys today about um, our PTZ Joy camera controller software and how to integrate it using the Elgato Stream Deck to control your PTZ cameras, your live production equipment, and much more. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set everything up um, and I'm gonna give you some examples of what I've done to control my cameras here in my home studio. So let's get started. First and foremost, I am going to go ahead and switch over to my close-up view. And as you can see, I have my Elgato Stream Deck um, application loaded here on my computer. And I have the Elgato Stream Deck here as well. So first and foremost, what you need to make sure you do is I'm going to pull this over and on the PTZ Joy controller um, you want to make sure you have everything kind of set up already all of your presets um, your IP camera IP addresses um, you want to make sure you have your web control clicked on and have the correct IP um, address for PTZ Joy. This is this is the computer where your PTZ Joy um, controller is located. So um, once you have that happen, um, and here I have two cameras set up, so I'm gonna just switch over. You can see I already have my presets all set up. I'll move this out of the way, um, and then let me show you how I set my um, Stream Deck up here in the program. So it's very simple to do. Every single key you can customize. It's a programmable keyboard. And all I did was I went into the system file um, drop down here and I just clicked on this website and you can drag and drop these onto the, the little buttons here on the Elgato Stream Deck. Um, so I set up my presets here, um, preset one, and really all you do is you, you know, you want to input your title um, down here you can uh, kind of, there's some options with how to position it um, you can create your icon here what I did was I just took a picture with our snip tool of my preset and you can you know s set it from a file or use you can even use the um, Elgato um, uh, application itself they have a little um, you know, window that opens when you create to create their icons, um, and they have a lot of different tools to do that. But for our purposes, I just took a picture of my presets and made my own little kind of buttons here. And so, what you do essentially, instead of using your camera's IP address um, and inputting it here in the URL and um, you know selecting what action you want that button to do. Everything kind of goes through the PTZ Joy um, program. So you have a lot more functionality um, as to what you can do um, and essentially you can, you can um, execute any function that PTZ Joy controller um, can execute. So here I just have some examples. I did my different presets here. Um, I had some, I set up some macros, so it's just really simple syntax, run macro, um, you're, you're giving a command um, for PTZ Joy to, to do this command here. Um, and then I'll show you in a minute the list of our um, HTTP requests. Um, and I did, you know, my, my pan up, pan down, pan right, and then also, you know, I have my two cameras set up zoom in and zoom out so just a super simple configuration and let me just kind of show you um, how to do that so now that I have everything configured um, I can go ahead and press my preset one and as you see my camera goes to preset one I can press the preset two my camera goes to preset two three and back to four um, you know, I can also pan up and click stop, pan down, click stop. Um, you know, I can zoom in and stop. Um, and then I've also created a couple of macros. So when I click on the macro, this is just kind of something I created in PTZ Joy Controller. It's going to zoom in, 
go to a, a preset okay and then I did another macro where I created a script of just um, some pan tilt movements um, it's gonna go to a zoom movement here in a second it's gonna kind of zoom in and then it's gonna go to my preset four. so really you know this is just a really basic example and let me show you um, just some of the the different um, pull up our HTTP command list here so this is just some of the things that you can do um, you can obviously configure your buttons for um, camera movements just like I did my pan you know pan up pan down left right uh, zoom in you know autofocus um, go to home there's some port management commands you can do you can switch your cameras here um, there's some preset management commands you can call on presets you know switch between your internal and external presets um, you can also there's some utility commands where you can if you're working with a joystick you can um, select between our different joystick performance modes you can turn your cameras tally on and off turn your cameras on and off um, I showed you how to run the macros and this is just the macro commands and then there's also some advanced commands where um, you know these are you can you know directly call on a port camera and then you know select your presets you can also manage um, PTZ movements um, using uh, their specific locations and speeds here um, you can actually control your live production system um, you can kind of see what you know what your active um, camera number is in vmix you can you can um, program your uh, stream deck to switch the active to the active input um, things like that so this is on our website and these are just um, the HTTP request commands there's a lot of different things that you can do with it um, but I think that this is a really cool integration uh, for the Elgato Stream Deck um, using PTZ Joy. And um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And so if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, go to our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn to get more tips and tricks about PTZ camera control automation and the different integrations that um, are available out there using our software. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Have a good day.